So, uh, hey guys, Chelsea here. So it's going to be a nice little Marco and Ace showcase. Don't have a lot of time right now, but I want to try some of the level limit break buffs. So here we are. In solo form, they are a four time strength captain, which is a lot better than before, at least. And in duo form, with level limit break, they go up to a 5.5 times attack, which is really good for a free to play unit. Need to be a low HP though, which they get with their special. And they also have minus two CD captains. That's pretty interesting for the future. Might see some viable captain use. They also give some matching orbs. Special, it's mostly the same with doing a big HP cut. They have the ability to apply burn, which is pretty minor since you can't get a burn conditional. But the great thing about this unit is the fact that their big attack boost is now a three turn attack boost, which is pretty much a game changer, I'd say. So pretty exciting. And we're going to try that out in today's video. Uh, swap isn't changed, but still not bad. They get a guaranteed orb and they can do a full board of uh, matching orb if you get unfavorable orbs, for example, since they make strength matching as a sub. So yeah, I thought I'd try making a free-to-play team against Garp Challenge LO. This is a good content to showcase Marco and Ace. And we have one as captain, one as a sub. And yeah, even if there's free-to-play units, I do have some non-free-to-play support. Mostly to make this run a bit more interesting. Especially the first strat here I'm going to use is pretty fun. I use Law, since he's ready turn 1. We'll get his special back after we defeat this stage. And yeah, he has a Trash Marie recruit Kiko support to give him attack and war boost. And this will proc the lead performer's captain abilities. We auto launch their special this stage, giving us a big attack boost for Driven Powerhouse, which is just lead performers and Akainu and Kisaru, who won't even do damage because I swapped them to Kisaru here. But that one unit with boost is all we need, enable to one hit KO the quick mob, which is the most annoying mob here. And yeah, we end up stalling a turn, which is fine, which means we can get rid of the special bind. And uh, yeah, not having to worry about that anymore now. So next stage is a bit annoying with the barrier and everything, so I just wanted to secure the kill. So I decided to actually use two specials. We're going to use Akainu and Kisaru, and then lead performers. And this will give the two driven units a ton of damage. Yeah, that kind of was not needed. I forgot to change it after I changed my plans a bit for this team. But yeah, very easy kill. Moving on. So yeah, time to use the first Mar uh, Marco and Ace. And we're going to use the captain here, since we need to save the sub for final stage in order to handle the confusion. So yeah, we're able to keep this attack boost for next stage as well, which is really, really nice. And yeah, we might have war problem eventually, but we do have the lead performers super. So anytime I feel like our orbs are not good enough, I can just use this, use it, and get a full board of matching orbs. So, pretty nice insurance. So yeah, I can easily kill this stage in one turn, but I will stall one turn just to let the ship bind run out. So yeah, law just to guarantee those matching orbs on this stage. And yeah, killing this threshold mob is very easy now. Then I start hit, stop hitting perfects because I wanted to not kill this guy. I could have done a bit more damage, but not a big deal. And yeah, by stalling that turn, the ship bind is removed immediately when leaving this stage. I can use the ship to resist bind and kill the next stage easily in one turn. As you see, we have some bad orb RNG here, so good time to use the lead performer's special, uh, super class. Also a good time to use the sunny ship for an attack boost. And these two together will ensure that we get the kill here. And some extra stats for at least two units. 
Easily take out the Dex mob and then build up the chain for the quick mob. And we easily kill with the booster stats for the driven units on the team. So yeah, final stage, uh, we do get special binder which we can't handle. So we're going to stall a turn to use the Akainu Kisaru swap to remove the special bind. Uh, the problem with this is mainly the fact that uh, ML will apply some defensive effects, but that's why we have the Usopp on the team, who is not really free to play, but every beginner gets him for free uh, by doing shopping man missions. So, ah, the team was better with him, so whatever. So yeah, we'll get a big attack boost here from Marco Ace. We'll remove the confusion due to the self damage we take. Uh, we also have the radio support to get an ore boost. And then finally we use Usopp to remove defensive effects. And I also put the Wibble support for color affinity, just adding some buffs with support. And yeah, going to be a really easy kill now. So that's my Mark and A showcase. Probably going to use them more in the future. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.